Somebody knows? Can you hand up? Fujifilm. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Fujifilm is a Japanese company who started like a camera and film. You know, like green, green box film. Maybe in a long time back, you used the film. This is a, like a Fujifilm, a Japanese company. And, um, but still, uh, many people are using film uh, in a professional camera. Um, unfortunately, nowadays, mostly goes to the digital camera, but uh, still we are uh, like supporting this uh, camera industry and uh, society because many people love this camera. So uh, we are working. Um, but actually, uh, the, as this film we used uh, for the X-ray film, it was 1936, 80 years ago, uh, we started X-ray film, you know, the same film. Eh? So this was start for the Fujifilm medical business. And after that, nowadays it's no more used film, uh, but uh, in the, on the monitor, and we put AI inside of the machine. And for example, especially COVID time, after expose, immediately AI can say, uh, like this is suspicious case or not. So this kind of like AI intelligence we put in a machine to support for the society in the world. And also like this is like a TV screening. We made this kind of small camera. Before X-ray was very big, cannot blink to outside. But uh, now it's, we made this, this kind of small camera and I uh, can take a screening, TV screening everywhere in the world. So uh, this is what we are working with WHO. So Fujifilm, uh, our slogan is a never stop. So always new value, new vision we try to create. So this is what we are doing. And now it, uh, Fujifilm is uh, like one of the uh, biggest uh, uh, Japanese medical company in, the, in Japan. Uh, just we recently acquired Hitachi Medical. So uh, Hitachi and the Fujifilm become together. So we become biggest in the world in Japan now. And also like we are not only for working for medical equipment, but also we are uh, manufacturing for the Abigan, the Fabipiral, which is using for the COVID-19 treatment. Unfortunately, we cannot supply to India uh, from Japan. So we made a tie up with uh, Dr. Ludi's uh, healthcare uh, laboratory and uh, they are making this uh, uh, COVID-19 medicine uh, and for India. So let's talk about uh, what's the secret of Japanese longevity. It's uh, maybe many people knows about Japan, but may, somebody knows. Uh, but basically like uh, Japan uh, life expectancy is still 84 years. But my grandmother already ate 96, so she already above. And my grandfather was passed away, unfortunately, but she also uh, lived by uh, till 92 years. Yes. Of course, it's many reasons behind. Uh, for example, like green tea is a very uh, nice culture. Everybody drinking. I'm also everyday drinking, so maybe this is good for the health. And it, uh, many times we are using hot spa that we call the onsen. So everybody loves onsen and uh, to get a, a like, tired body uh, and uh, like, uh, we can make very refresh with uh, hot spa. And also uh, maybe hard working or maybe this is a fish, the, this is tuna, the low fish. Maybe you don't use eat uh, low fish but we are using uh, eating this kind of like uh, fish in a healthy manner. Or many people are saying this is like a tofu, we call it, it's a soy, soybeans. It's made by soybeans. So this is also, it's a very healthy food. And karaoke, you know karaoke? In Japan, it's many people is <laughs> doing karaoke. They sing a song and uh, refresh and, uh, and be energistic. So maybe this is also good, I think, it's a karaoke. Uh, and many uh, activities behind, but uh, today I want to talk about a little bit healthcare. So healthcare field in Japan, it's a, the age is very high. For example, our age group, it's the biggest age group is from uh, like uh, 80, uh, like 45 to 70. 
this is our biggest age group and totally one, uh, 126 million population they have. In India, is you have uh, 10 times <laughs> bigger numbers and uh, population, but like uh, age, average age is, uh, is a young, young age. But uh, gradually, it's uh, uh, become more longer for the life expectancy. And as I understand, the Shiba Toki is uh, from 55 years old. So this is uh, your group. So, um, by the way, in Japan, it's a uh, unfortunately, it's a uh, many cancer is uh, there because because of the age actually. For example, this is Japan statistics. Um, the cancer cause after 55 years old is drastically up. This is green is men and red is women. So this group is because basically uh, everybody knows is uh, our body is uh, has something problem of course in the future, but the cancer is uh, relating with cell. So our body cell is affecting after the age. So this is cause of death in Japan. It's a cancer before like more heart attack and the stroke was big, but now the cancer is really growing uh, with age. Uh, so this is unfortunate, but it seems very drastically increasing, but actually our survival rate is very high on the other hand. For example, this is Japan statistics. This dark green is the cancer at early stage. And this green is middle stage. And this green, it's uh, light green is like uh, distant in the later stage. This is survival rate, the percentage. So what I want to say is in Japan, if we can find at early stage, then 90% of the people can survive. This is important point. Why? It's we are doing uh, annual health screening in Japan for the cancer and all body. So, for example, like this is like our uh, like our Japan uh, colleague center, uh, like this kind of very beautiful center we are coming, and uh, for them by myself, my wife, my parents, uh, my grandmother everybody coming uh, like this kind of center. This center should be very li like a nice center who where people want to come. We don't want to go hospital, especially nowadays, but this kind of center, we want to come. So this kind of center uh, we are making in Japan. And also it's not only blood test, it's imaging base. This is also very important uh, point, please remember. So the doctor is uh, and, uh, explaining by image and uh, is taking the imaging inside of the body. So for the, for, uh, the cancer uh, stage is, uh, cancer is doesn't come in a suddenly. It's a, it's a like step by step will grow. For example, firstly, like uh, some cell has a damage and after that become a little bit bigger. And after that, more bigger to go distributed, regional, and to go distant. So this is a, like a, a cycle of the cancer, uh, cancer growth. So for example, maybe some people know the black panther. Uh, black panther, uh, he is, uh, uh, he was actually young, around 40 years, but uh, he was found by uh, colon cancer but at later stage. So unfortunately he passed away. So this is the situation. And as I said, in Japan is 90% of people can survive by early finding. But on the other hand, if late finding like distant, then survival rate is around 10%. Actually we are in the same human. So in Japanese, US or Indian is everybody the same. But what's the difference is we are finding at early stage by annual screening, by imaging base. So this is very important topic, I believe. 
So, for example, this is uh, life expectancy uh, in uh, Japan and India. So, 1960, at that time, Japan was 67 years and India 40 years. It's, yes, it's India is really gl drastically growing and uh, uh, become more longer uh, life expectancy. Now is around 70 years and Japan is around 85 years. So it will grow more. But what does this mean is the disease will be changed like cancer. So for example, the cause of this in India, before this is communicable disease. Communicable disease is like uh, virus. This is a communicable disease. This is non-communicable disease. It's like heart attack or cancer or diabetic or COPD, this kind of lifestyle disease, we can say. So it's gradually lifestyle disease is growing in India. Because of the age and because country become rich and more like maybe food different. So in Japan, how it is, is around 86% is a come a cause of this come from uh, this lifestyle disease. So what I want to say is every country is following this way and Japan is kind of leader uh, for the long life. So maybe this Japanese way can uh, help for the global. So that's why we opened uh, our center in India. For example, this is Japan India statistics from Japan. Uh, the cause of this 1992 to 2017, the heart attack is drastically growing, COPD and cancer and diabetic. So this kind of disease is really growing in India. So we, as newer, our center is covering these kind of critical disease and for lifestyle disease. For example, heart attack. Everybody's thinking like a heart attack that will come suddenly, but actually it's not suddenly. Uh, my wife, by the way, my wife also it's so it's a sudden. <laughs> I ask question, <laughs> and I said it's no, it's not come sudden. It gradually comes. Like for example, it's a uh, once like like heart best best cell uh, will have some uh, like a plaque and uh, calcium, and blood clot comes then stuck, and then heart attack. So, for example, the, after the COVID, many people got a heart attack, right? So, because COVID makes like uh, more easily coagulate for the blood. So, that's why this kind of blood clot, uh, blood clot uh, will uh, produce many, then stuck. So that's why it's uh, like uh, COVID is uh, like one uh, another killer uh, for the heart attack. This lung vessel is uh, um, uh, not lung for the heart vessel is like that. It's basically is a healthy, but gradually, gradually, like plaque comes in with cholesterol or oily food or this kind of lifestyle, and after that is a calcium comes in, and then it becomes a dangerous situation. So for example, if we can cut the vessel, yes, we can see it like that, but of course we cannot cut. So what we can do is we have to see by imaging. So for example, this is a uh, real uh, heart vessel, uh, coronary artery. So this is calcium. So he is almost stuck. This is almost is stuck. So it's a very dangerous situation. This is, if we can see, we can change the life or we can go to treatment. We can avoid the uh, like heart attack accident. So this is what, the, what I want to say today. It's a thing is behaving. And communicable disease is non-communicable disease is, communicable disease is kind of acute. It's a virus, acute case. But this lifestyle disease is chronic disease. So it's only gradually comes. So which mean we can avoid emergency by preventive care. So this is very important point. So we opened uh, Neura, uh, Japanese style of uh, Japanese way of advanced full body health screening center in Bangalore.
So uh, the ambassador also came and uh, he they celebrated the, by 4th February, uh, just two months ago, uh, about World Cancer Date, uh, we opened this center. And this collaboration comes with Fujifilm, a Japanese company, and Dr. Kuti Healthcare Group, uh, it's an uh, Indian uh, healthcare company. We made joint company. And by the way, Dr. Kuti Healthcare is uh, one of the big like hospital group in India. And also they are providing many screening center in Dubai and Bahrain and so on. So they are one of the biggest uh, uh, screening, uh, screening service provider in Dubai. So this neural is, uh, uh, we made a concept, Japanese way of hospitality. It's a very, everybody smiling and they take care of the guest. We don't call as patient, we call it as guest because everybody healthy people. And in the luxury hotel type of facility uh, we made, because as I said, people don't want to go hospital or dirty place. People want to come hotel, for example. So hotel type of facility and just take 120 minutes only. And the, we are using this kind of cutting edge technology equipment from Japan and explain by image. So sometimes, for example, I got a report from doctor. It's very difficult to understand because we are not medical uh, professional. But image is very easy to understand. For example, if I write all words in here in the presentation, it's very, people <laughs> cannot understand, but because of the image picture, we can understand well. So this is what we are focusing. And we are using CT and CT is like not normal x-ray, but we are like, a, we can cut slice by slice our body. But everybody understands CT is very high technology, but on the same time, radiation is very high. So that's why before we couldn't use CT for the screening, but thanks to AI technology, now we can use it. Why? Because we could reduce the radiation drastically. For example, it's only 150s compared to before. So we are using only 0.1 millisievert, which is same as Bangalore to New York round flight, or one chest X-ray or one week of natural radiation. For example, uh, in, in our normal life, uh, we are getting radi radiation from everywhere. So this is only one week of natural radiation. So it's very, very low radiation, what I want to say, it's very safe. But if we use the, this kind of 0.1 millisievert, image was very bad before because very noisy image comes. But thanks to AI technology, we can understand, AI can understand noise fast and remove the noise and make a good image. And another AI works to find any disease here. So we are utilizing two AI, noise reduction and disease de uh, detection. So thanks to this uh, technology, recently really AI is growing. So we could make it happen like that. For example, CT is very important uh, for to identify very small cancer, for example, lung cancer. Lung cancer is a very aggressive cancer. It's, uh, for example, fast is small cancer, it become bigger and go spread it everywhere. We have to see by CT because for example, X-ray cannot see such kind of small one. We can see big one, but we cannot see small one, but CT can see it. So this is very important. And for the heart, heart calcium, as you see the image, this is also used by CT and like we can identify the calcium uh, amount. Zero is A, yes, good. Like, if, but if like a more like 400, it's very danger case. We said immediately you are D, it's a not good situation. You have to go treatment or you can be as it is, but reduce the oily food, reduce weight change your bad habit. So this is what Dr. Latika is advising. For example, lung COPD is, uh, India is the capital of lung COPD. Everybody is saying because of the pollution. This is also, we cannot see by x-ray, but CT, we can see it. 
So this this person is actually my my colleague. Uh, he has zero score of the damage, so we said A, so you yeah, have no problem. And for example, like for the ladies, uh, women, uh, the breast cancer screening is quite important. But everybody understands breast cancer screening is the mammogram is painful. This was the challenge, but we made less painful uh, technology. For example, breast will be complex like this, but like like uh, this 3D dimensional flexible plate is uh, make uh, like pain free, and like step by step, step by step, carefully we, uh, the machine will compress. Not like before, suddenly. Step by step, step by step, and very softly compress. So that's why you can feel very uh, less painful for this mammography. By the way, I want to talk about a little bit about uh, AI. AI, for them, this is Japanese case. One of the lady came to the screening center, 2013. She was found by as cancer, but she came last year. And last year, doctor couldn't see it. And one more year ago, 2011, also doctor couldn't see it because this was very difficult. Small cancer, to, to find small cancer is very difficult but AI could find it. So what I want to say is AI is not exceeding doctor, but to find for them, like if doctor, please find, like if AI, please find 50 kind of things, AI is not strong. But if we said AI, please find this one thing, cancer, then they are very strong. We are utilizing this AI in our center but AI is educated by doctor. So it's a similar action, they will do that. For example, people will say, yes, 100% sure. Or, yeah, maybe. So this time AI said, maybe 13% only. And Dr. Seed, our Dr. Habib here. And he also think, yeah, it's suspicious, but not very, very sure. It's suspicious case. But in this case, like we are using like 3D mammography. 3D mammography is like uh, making like an angle, like tick, 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 shooting and slicing image. So if 2D only cannot see the inside, but 3D can see the inside very depth. So this was cancer. So what uh, we are doing is machine has AI technology and AI detect some of the abnormal case and doctor, our specialist doctor is communicating with this AI and take a decision and explain to Dr. Latika, a uh, general practitioner. Because if sometimes radiologists talk something is very special, very, very some difficult, that general practitioner Dr. Latika can explain very well from uh, like a normal people point of view. So this is what we are doing. And uh, just take only 120 minutes because supported by AI technology. Blood test is uh, not is, uh, like only partial. We are doing blood test as well. But the blood test is uh, like a kind of uh, functional test. It's only partial test. But we are using imaging test for more detail check. This is very important. And imaging report comes like that. It's for example, sometimes like people like uh, people understand like become a bit fat, but uh, reduce the weight. For example, it out like uh, this is blue is like like kind of outside fat, but that is inside fat. If we cut like this, then like we can understand is it dangerous or not. So. If we see, okay, I have to reduce now visceral fat. So we people can take action. And for example, like this way, it's like a muscle percentage and the bone percentage and uh, uh, fat percentage. And people can understand more easily where is my like body is uh, has a fat. We are using uh, Japanese methodology for the like metabolic syndrome. Uh, metabolic syndrome is uh, like a risk factor of the like a lifestyle disease. 
Uh, but all the tests, we don't need to be the fasting. Uh, we can use uh, no fasting only. And uh, ABCD classifying report we are showing. So we don't say like uh, you are good or bad only. You're like, uh, for example, this case is my kidney A is okay, but my heart is B is not good. So organ by organ, we can explain. So that's why people can understand organ by organ, where is I'm okay or not. So if something somewhere is not good, then we can take care of that, prevent it. So this is uh, important culture. So all explaining by uh, Dr. Latika as explaining by imaging basis. And it's uh, many people came, uh, some Japanese, some Indian, it's a uh, uh, young people, elder people, senior people. So many people came and we are getting like a customer satisfaction uh, questionnaire. So everybody said it's very good in the five star. And also it's a uh, Japanese people uh, is uh, putting like uh, Facebook, for example, she said it's much, much better than Japan, actually. So this is our proud. And once people comes, uh, like uh, he, she will bring the uh, like uh, parents or like husband. So it's uh, also very good sign. Uh, our test is uh, like for male package or female package. And uh, we are showing like lung and uh, colon, uh, prostate, stomach, and uh, esophagus and oral, oral and leukemia, breast cancer, cervical test, and the heart, and liver, and kidney, and bone, and so on. So it's a kind of full body check we are providing. So this is just a summary of uh, the guest journey. Is firstly like our guest uh, ex uh, executive uh, welcome you and to, to the reception and explain for more detail. And in the, like kind of uh, like a cafe area uh, we have and the waiting area also it's uh, very sophisticated. And uh, registration also uh, supported by our GRE, uh, guest relation executive. So this is very important. You don't need to be worried about anything. So she will come together with you and she will explain and check in, uh, she will support and we will put QR code band, this band, and we start journey tracking. And first we go, the, for example, ladies uh, to go uh, second floor is a woman dedicated floor and just changing the clothes. And nowadays in the COVID situation, uh, we are putting 100% like protect uh, of our COVID free center and like a blood, blood pressure or body measurement and also like oral test to our dentist, uh, Dr. Latika, uh, Shika is doing and the breast test and cervical test and body composition and bone test, lung test and heart test and abdominal test and everything finished and Dr. Explain, Dr. Latika explained uh, everything all uh, her body in 120 minutes only. So we are doing like visualize inside of your body by cutting a Japanese technology and identify any small issue at every stage and maintain for your life. So this is our mission. Move to the prevention uh, rather than cure. Uh, this is your responsibility for your loved. Uh, this is the important message. Sometimes, like, uh, uh, for example, my father also didn't like to go before uh, for the screening, but actually I pushed him because he is very high age, but uh, like, you know, my father always shows strong in front of me. So she sa he said, it's no problem, I'm no problem. But <laughs> I said, no, you have to go. And actually he was found uh, prostate cancer, but very early stage. So he is still survived now, 77 years. So it was very good. And also, for example, like my wife uh, is uh, also didn't like to go breast cancer before, but I pushed because breast cancer survival rate is 99% if we can find that early stage. So why not? Why not? This is better to go. And also finally, it's um, I'm uh, like Peter of the family. I have my wife and uh, kids 12 years and eight years now. So this is my responsibility to be healthy, to protect them. 
And Neura, uh, this is our expansion plan. Firstly, we opened in Bangalore. <laughs> this is our very pleasure uh, to start in from Bangalore. But uh, we will go more Delhi, Mumbai, and Hyderabad, and Chennai, and also many other city. And also, actually, we are like preparing to open in uh, Dubai and uh, uh, Vietnam and uh, uh, Indonesia and Kenya, Mongol. So it's a many place. So this is our really pleasure to start this center in Bangalore first. So this is my message is one of the important messages. Visit us and see your heart first. Because heart, heart attack is acute. It's very important. Sometimes people will get the immediately suddenly, but it's gradually again. Please see it by your heart and understand your health situation. Maybe healthy, but maybe not. It's from our study, around 10% of people has disease. Not like immediate dangerous, but 10% of people has heart uh, like a risk. So please come and visit and take uh, your picture of the heart. And we are in the Bangalore, uh, in Danaga, and 100 feet road. So we are here in locating. 